It began with the forging of the great rings. Three were given to the elves, immortal, wisest and fairest of all beings. Seven to the dwarf lords, great miners and craftsmen of the mountain halls. And nine, nine rings were gifted to the race of men who above all else desire power. For within these rings was bound the strength and will to govern each race. But they were all of them deceived, for another ring was made. In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control all others. One ring to rule them all. But there were some who resisted. A last alliance of men and elves marched against the armies of Mordor, and on the slopes of Mount Doom, they fought for the freedom of Middle-earth. Victory was near. But the power of the ring could not be undone. Isildur, son of the king, took up his father's sword. <laughs> Sauron, the enemy of the free peoples of Middle-earth, was defeated. The ring passed to Isildur who had this one chance to destroy evil forever. Isildur, hurry! Follow me! But the hearts of men are easily corrupted, and the Ring of Power has a will of its own. It betrayed Isildur to his death. And some things that should not have been forgotten were lost. For two and a half thousand years, the ring passed out of all knowledge. Until... The ring came to the creature Gollum, who took it deep into the tunnels of the Misty Mountains. For five hundred years, it poisoned his mind. But something happened then the ring did not intend. It was picked up by the most unlikely creature imaginable. What's this? A hobbit, Bilbo Baggins of the Shire. A ring? 